Hi guys, Zeth here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraformagraft. So as you can see, right now I am clearing out some of our fruit trees. And by some, I'm planning on getting rid of pretty much all of them. I have been toying with the idea of having like an actual orchard. I'm not, still not sure if that's actually what I'm going to end up doing. But at the very least, we've got so many fruit trees it literally takes me like <laughs> it takes me like an hour <laughs> and while I like having that much fruit we don't really need that much fruit and I know it's kind of weird to be saying yeah let's let's have less fruit when I'm got absolutely no saplings from that I think huh but anyways um despite it Despite our food issue right now, that's mostly because that farm over there didn't really produce too much. So I'm I'm still gonna bring these trees back, but right now they're kinda kinda being haunted. So I managed to get all the fruit trees that I could. There's still some up, like uh, primarily red apple are out still, mostly because I planted them already and they had yet to actually sprout and let me get saplings so this is all the fruit trees that we've got so that'll be a nice harvest for our next nice crop for next year hopefully we'll be able to get hopefully we'll be able to get the orchard up before spring we should be able to as you preferably preferably we'd be able to get the orchard up quite a bit sooner than that to make sure we get as much fruit as we can although like, like I've said, we don't have that big of a uh, demand for fruit. <laughs> We've got a absolute huge amount of vinegar, and I don't see us going through all that much too quickly. So next thing I wanted to do, I I take a look at our log building, and I was thinking, you know, a lot of these colors I don't really want to use. And I thought about it, and the one that I really don't expect to be using pretty much ever is going to be maple. I'm definitely going to use white cedar. I'll probably use sequoia, and at the very least, I can fill the sequoia up and drop a torch. I'm definitely going to use aspen. I already have been hickory and Douglas fir. All those are very nice and very useful. And it's looking and... I was trying to figure out what kind of wood to replace it with, and we have spruce here, and I think that actually looks, that looks okay at least. <laughs> Not going to say it looks good, but it looks at least a lot better than maple. I like the maple as a tree, but as a, as an actual plank, no thanks. Oh, hey, zombie. Hi. Okay, let's take a quick little nap. I actually... I really like how the glass looks now that it's actually in. I like how this area is turning out. It's going to turn out really well, I think. In the end, anyway. So, ooh... Uh, it's always kind of scary to watch the food and water go down after you take a sleep. Because, like, uh... And I want to say at one point it was uh, fairly, fairly dangerous. Because it would actually... Well, water and food could actually kill you by not having enough. So next thing we needed to do is going to be using this. And I wanted to also talk about a couple episodes back, and by a couple I'm it's probably been like ten or more. <laughs> it's it's been a while. It's a bit more than just uh just a couple. Hi. But I talked about my hatred for ladybugs and I just wanted to reaffirm that hatred. I was going for a sip of pop some really nice Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew Voltage, to be exact. 
I take a swig, and there's this squirming thing in my mouth. Yeah. That was pretty awful. <laughs> so now that you're sufficiently grossed out, <laughs> we're making a meal. I finally got our donkey to be sufficiently familiarized with us. Supposedly, anyway. Come here, lead. Nope, okay. And this one should still be. Crap. Okay. Uh, forgot they need <laughs> two to get into breeding mode, pretty much. Shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. Really hope not. It's gonna be, isn't it? It's gonna be. Crap. <laughs> oh. Man. Well, they're they're together now. They'll they'll cuddle. <laughs> I, I I guess. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> Should have definitely checked to make sure that I had enough grain before bringing guys back in and getting y'all excited, and getting excited myself. Yeah. Also, another thing. When I first logged into the world today, before I actually recorded my intro, I was running Forge version, I think it was 84. So it'd be like, you know, da 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 da, and the last couple numbers were 84. Anyways, and pretty much all the rendering was messed up. Like, all my looms were sideways. So, if you have any graphics issues, Remember, Forge does actually matter. <laughs> so, yeah, just remember that everything in your mod pack, whether or not it's an official mod pack or anything like that. I When I say mod pack, I just mean set of mods, really. Which is why I was always kind of confused while, why so many mod authors were not allowing you to combine their mods. With others because yeah what it well yeah makes a bit more sense when you remember that it's a public mod pack yeah I'm kidding uh, we haven't done anything with the bushes in a while kind of want to get those back out don't remember where I put like 90% of them, though. Well, I mean, like 90% of them are on me right now, but the 90% that I don't know where they are, I said what it meant. Definitely. <laughs> okay. And hey, maybe we'll find some grain while we're doing this. I, I have doubts about that, but hey, you never know. Yeah, we're not going to find them. <laughs> well, found all of them that I think I'm going to find. Found enough that I don't care about finding the others is what I really should be saying, I think. <laughs> so what I've been wanting to do is actually have probably these being aesthetic bushes more of. I think raspberries can stack up a little bit higher than cranberry, so let's check those out. I want this area to be kind of overgrown feeling. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now on the other side, I want to have the same thing. I'm trying to keep this building symmetrical between sides as best as I can anyway. It's not a requirement, but hey, if we can do it, why not? Oops. Got you back. I've got three left. Can we stack bushes of different types? We cannot. <laughs> Definitely cannot. Okay. Um, ooh, actually. 
let's do that. And you can probably have wintergreen in the front like that. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Definitely. I want to get this area... I really want these to be butting up against that, but I want to have the granite down there still. So, uh... Can't think of a good way to... to fix that. I could just suck it up and get rid of the granite, but... Eh. Not, uh... I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I like that. I feel like it needs... I feel like it's too ordered, though. Can I change anything up? Um... No. I don't like having, like, solid borders like what it has right now. Really what I'd like is to have, like, leaves coming down and stuff like that. It's definitely closer to how I actually prefer to build. That's got to be one of the few things I dislike about Terraforma Craft building. There's nothing like, um, normal leaves that can withstand an a block update because you can get normal leaves at least you could in version 78 uh, version previous to this one but if you tried to place them together they they disappeared <laughs> um, hmm. now if we did Let's see if we can't change up this a little bit. Now, do I want cranberries in front or back? That's going to be a hard choice. We've got enough elderberries to do that. We've got enough cranberries to do this, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do that on the other side. Actually, can we? I don't think we can, actually. Yeah, dang it. <sighs> Darn. Well, I was, I was going to like that idea, but I guess not. <laughs> hmm. I still really want these trees to grow. I did have them right there, but I moved them back. To where they, dang it where they are now and hopefully that'll give them a little bit of extra space to grow and that that'll be all they need I'm not going to hold my breath but I can hope okay now we can do this now do we want elderberries blackberries are harder to find a spot for or blackberry or raspberry I think because they will prick you. So, you know, you don't want to walk through them. So I think if we do that, that'll be nice. Because I don't typically walk right here. <laughs> and it's not much damage that they do, but it's, it's enough. Uh, um, like, that would be better ish not quite I like having the bush like that I did that that's okay if I had one more it'd be really nice but I don't so oh well give me any other good spots for these though I could probably do something with this area So I talked about having like a statue garden or something like that under here, and I think that's actually pretty much what we're going to do. I mean, we have all these little bushes and stuff like that. So let's make a statue and a garden. <laughs> so first things first, I want to have a couple areas which are actually, actually like statue areas. 
And I just had an idea. What if we were to remove this support? Does the entire thing fall in on us? This may be very, a very, very, very bad idea. I need to run up here and grab a couple of extra granite bricks in case having the stuff, the uh, post out there is actually viable. Because I'd much rather not have the extra supports just for an aesthetic reason. But I can... Hmm, I can definitely see having, like... Basically, little pedestals around here. Probably, like, 2 by 2s or 3 by 3s or something. Oops. Yeah, it looks like this is going to work so far. So far, so good. Uh, any you gonna fall in? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Excellent. That is actually exactly what I could hope for. And last one. Take a bite and take out this one also. So yeah. What I want to do with this is I'm I'm th trying to come up with a decent statue design. Hmm. I'm probably gonna have to look at like ancient Roman statues, kind of stuff, ancient medieval, and you know all that kind of stuff. Cause those guys had some amazing statues. <laughs> That's definitely one thing that I wish was more prominent here in America. There's not really any, like, there's not many historical statues and stuff like that. It's, <laughs> one quote that I've always heard is, in America, 100 years sounds like an unbelievably long time. In Europe, 100 miles seems like an unbelievably long distance. And I think it's kind of a funny quote because just how accurate I feel like that actually is because, I mean, I mean, in Europe they have Luxembourg, which is tiny. I mean, I know that's an outlier as far as size goes, but in general, everything seems a lot more compact and well, close together than Euro in Europe. Definitely not a bad thing. It's not necessarily a good thing either, but it's definitely not necessarily a bad thing. But they have... One thing I love about Europe is just how much more history it feels like they have. And you can walk around and you can actually see the history. It's definitely something I find really really cool and again something that we don't really seem to have too much of in America we again we do have history and there are parts where that's definitely not true like the like New England there's a fair bit of history but there's nothing like uh, medieval architecture or anything like that and I Definitely am a fan of medieval ar architecture. <laughs> if you couldn't guess by, well, this kind of building. <laughs> that actually is one thing that I've always kind of disagreed with, with a lot of people as far as Minecraft goes. I've always felt like Minecraft is a lot more of a medieval game. I mean, in vanilla, you've got a pickaxe, a sword, a bow... You don't have anything like a machine gun or stuff like that. I guess that's actually one of the reasons why I don't like the normal like feed the beast packs all that much. And it's actually what 
kept me from trying out Blood and Bones, which is a mod pack. Uh, pack Rat used to play it all the time. Um, he uh, met an unfortunate end as far as that's concerned, though. Um, wait, dang it. I already had smooth gra granite, not gravel, on me. <laughs> but, yeah, it had mods like uh, thermal expansion and a lot of different mods like that and they're fun but they don't really fit my play style and how I like to have Minecraft the nice thing about Blood and Bones though was that it was it was abnormally difficult <laughs> which is definitely something I I admire but that's actually probably the big reason why I've been developing my mod pack how I have. Because I don't have any, like, any tech mods. The most technical mod we've got in there is Thumbcraft, which is, is fine. Um, Thumbcraft I see as... Asinor, the developer of it, said Technopunk, and that's fairly correct, I guess. Um, it feels, you know, magical, yet kind of steampunk. And while that's not exactly where I fit, imagine Minecraft in, like, a universe kind of way, it does at least fit somewhat. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here's... What I'm thinking, because we can come up here, and now we have a 2x2 two two to make some form of statue in. We should be able to do that. I mean, if we do like a normal Minecraft character height, that's an extra block and an extra, an extra block in height and an extra block in pretty much every direction. That worked out kind of scarily well <laughs> with how many uh, blocks we needed. Oh, well. So I'm thinking if we have them facing out this way, they do get blocked a little bit by this shell. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out some other time, probably off camera. Today is another day of Terra Firmer Craft for Tuesday, uh, TFC Tuesday. So I'm going to have plenty of time to work on stuff. <laughs> Although I think I'm going to be working on video editing and other stuff like that. I've managed to get another little bit of a backlog for... Uh, what? Oh crap! Kaizo Caverns. There we go. Gosh, why is it always hard to remember what series I'm doing? <laughs> like it's not not hard for the series, but the name. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. Um, we need strawberries, I think. Here. That's not bad, I think. How many after we do this side? got five. If we do one, two, three, we won't have enough, but we do have enough bunch berries for that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that'll work. I'm liking that. I still need to put more, well, pretty much more everything everywhere. <laughs> this area just needs to be more detailed in general. Which I do want to work on. But I think that's actually going to be enough detail work and, well, work in general, really, for today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.